So now we can log text into our log and display it, but we don't yet have any interactivity. So we're going to use a dictionary to check a string we've received and return an arbitrary value. In this case, we're gonna be checking a string like north, south, east, west, and returning a room object. So let's take a look at what a dictionary is. So when we talk about a dictionary, we're talking about the data structure kind, not the big heavy book, yuck, yuck, yuck. Uh, in computer science, an associative array map symbol Symbol table or dictionary is an abstract data type composed of a collection of key value pairs, such that each possible key appears at most once in the collection. A generic dictionary allows us to specify a type for both the key and the value. So for example, we have a dictionary where the key is a string and the value is a game object, right? Those are the two types, the type for the key and the type for the value. And then the name of the variable in this case is my dictionary. This allows us to pass in a string key and get back a game object, the value, right? So let's say I wanted to get the game object player one. So I say my dictionary and then pass in in square brackets, the string player one. And if that string is in the dictionary and there is a game object at that index in the dictionary, it's gonna return that game object, right? So this is really useful in the context of a text adventure game where we're working with strings and we could just pass the string right back into the right into a dictionary and get back uh, what we need, in this case, a room. So back in our room navigation script, what we're going to do is we're going to add a dictionary. We're gonna add a dictionary with strings for keys and rooms for values. And it's gonna be called exit dictionary. And it's gonna be equal to a new dictionary of strings and rooms. Now we are going to, in our loop where we're unpacking the exits, we're going to add items to our dictionary. So we are going to call inside the loop, inside the for loop, we're gonna call exit dictionary dot add, and we're gonna pass in current room dot exits i dot key string, right? So we're, we're filling things into the dictionary now. So first we're gonna set the key, then we're gonna set the value. And in this case, the string is gonna be the key string, right? Like north, for example. And then the value is gonna be a room. So we're gonna say current room dot exits i dot value room. So now we've created a key value pair in that dictionary for our exit, which is a string and a room. Now we're gonna create a new function, which is going to return void and be called attempt to change rooms. And it is gonna take in a string called direction noun, right? North, for example. Then in our function, we're gonna check if the dictionary contains the, that key, right? That string key. So we're gonna say if exit, exit dictionary dot contains key direction noun. If it does, we're gonna set current room to equal exit dictionary direction noun, right? So first we're checking to see if the key is actually in there. And if it is, then we're gonna say, okay, you have that key. Okay, give me back the room at that key. And we're gonna set our current room to that room. And this is how we're gonna change rooms. So now we've set the current room of room navigation based on our exit dictionary. Now we need to report back to the to the game controller. So we're gonna say controller dot log string with return, you head off to the blank plus direction noun. You head off to the north. Then we're gonna call controller dot display room text because now we're in a new room, right? And we need to display it. So oops. If the key is not there, we're gonna say else, 
controller dot log string with return, there is no path to the blank north, for example. Or really, it's just whatever they typed in, right? I'll say there's no path to the gibberish. Okay. So when we change rooms, we're going to need to clear out our lists and our dictionary of any objects we've unpacked before we display the new room, right? So we're going to add a public function that returns void called clear exits. And in it, we're going to call exit dictionary dot clear. So we're going to empty out the dictionary and then, and this is going to be called from game controller. So in game controller now, we're going to add under unpack room, we're going to add void clear collections for new room. And we're going to do the following. First, we're going to clear our interaction descriptions in room list. We're going to call clear on that. And then we're going to call room navigation dot clear exits. Okay. Then we need to call that at the top of display room. Right, this is the very first thing we're going to do. We're going to clear the collections for the new room, and then we're going to unpack the room that we've arrived in. We can't test yet because we want to, we need to set up how our system is going to respond to user input based on scriptable objects. So before I get to that, let me just check the chat um, and see how everybody's doing, and then we're going to, we're going to do that. Yes, and that's true. Dictionary is not serializable. Dictionaries cannot be displayed in the inspector. Uh, Whamster says, this could be used to create something like the pick-your-own-path novels that I read through the 80s. Yeah, exactly. That's really what this is. It's like a choose-your-own-adventure game, right? Um, on the computer. Uh, Kuno Nooni asks, are you doing a verb-noun parser? That's exactly what I'm doing. The structure is going to be go north, you know, take skull. Yeah, it's a verb-noun parser. 